Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. We are continuing on with our terrarium series. So right now we're going to talk about and show you some great plants for growing terrariums. It's not advisable to use just any old plant for a terrarium, even baby plants of certain plants, because many plants will get way too big way too quickly, especially in the terrarium environment. The terrarium environment is very uh, humid for one thing, if you're growing a humid type of terrarium, and that humidity uh, really um, make some plants really grow quickly. So it's important that you use miniature plants that are actually going to stay miniature and grow really well for you in your terrarium because your intent here is to create a really nice scene with pretty little plants that grow slowly so you can enjoy the scene. You're not really doing this so that you can replant in a month. Um, unless you are, go for it. But otherwise, I would suggest using the right type of plants. So I'm gonna show you some various species of plants that do really well in terrariums. They love, the ter they love terrarium life and they will thrive. This is spike moss, and I do have a video on this plant uh, and growing it. This plant grows very slowly and it absolutely loves humidity in the, um, in the terrarium. So that's a really good one. I am today talking about plants for humid terrariums, for your standard terrarium, which would be a humid environment. You can do a succulent terrarium. However, I am not going to be talking about that or covering that today, but I will do some succulent terrariums in future videos. Okay, so we talked about the spike moss. This is a peperomia, and this is a, a standard size peperomia. So you would not want to use a standard size peperomia, but they do have miniature peperomias. Uh, you, when, and this particular plant grows very slowly, so it's a really good choice for terrariums when it is in the uh, miniature form. So, that's a good choice, but not that big as mentioned. Okay, mini African violets. I have videos on growing them as well. Lovely little plants, cute little plants. This one I most likely will be planting today in, a, in one of the uh, terms I'm gonna make here. So that is a really good choice for terrariums. They also like it humid. This is a juncus. It's a, actually a grass, even though it looks kind of like a succulent. So this juncus also does really well in terrariums, providing that it gets really high light. It needs a lot of really good light. So this would be a terrarium that you would need to keep uh, near full spectrum lighting if you want to use this. But you can see all the possibilities with this. I actually like to use this one in mermaid gardens because it has that underground, the underwater look of of um, seagrass, things like that, that floating, it looks like it's floating. Okay, so we also have here these lovelies, the pink polka dot plant, which also comes in this more uh, um, red, kind of ruby red burgundy color. And then you see this one has also the white and the green. This is a very festive, if you uh, celebrate holidays in the December time, this is a very festive holiday, holiday-ish look. So um, I'm gonna be using that actually, uh, maybe using these in that uh, for that terrarium. I'm going to decide that in the next video, but it uh, is a good, good option. They also have pink ones and green ones too, so there's plenty to choose from with these mini um, pink polka dot plant, which is hypoestes. Okay, also we have here these lovelies, and this is the uh, cyclamen and I have a video um, on growing them as well as a plant stories video on them too. So these guys really look nice in terrariums. However, of all the plants here, these are a little bit more short-lived for your terrarium, so you could 
use them in a holiday, winter holiday theme sort of terrarium. And then you might want to, um, then you're, they, they will die back eventually, and then you're gonna need to replace them. So you will have to replace them. So they're, they are miniature, they are very slow growing. They're not gonna do much growing for you, so they work really well, but they're a little bit more of a temporary look for you, unless you want to, um, uh, one thing you could do is just plant them, put them in, in the pots, bury that into the soil, and then, re and then replant another plant in, in their place later. Okay, <clears throat> another really good option is this. These are uh, pepper plants that they grow, very festive, very uh, ornamental. They will keep those peppers on there for a long time. So if you give the plant good uh, uh, lighting it will continue to uh, have these fruit on there for quite a long time another one that's a little bit more temporary than some of these others but you will uh, over time in general with your terrarium plants will have to replace them they will grow they will make it a little rangy and that sort of thing so uh, you want to get as much mileage as possible out of the plants, but at the same time, do expect that at some point you will have to replace. But if you've set up a really nice terrarium, you can often just replace a plant or two when necessary. So these are some good choices, as mentioned, for planting in your terrarium. And uh, next up, we'll be choosing the plants for the type of terrarium that you have. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.